In this Fitting Sites training series video, we're going to be covering how to configure your Google FeedBurner account, which will set you up for RSS as well as email subscription to updates to your blog. We're going to start here by visiting FeedBurner. Arrive there, you may need to log in using your Gmail account or by creating an account with Google if you don't have one already. Once we're here on this page, you'll see that we have an option to burn a feed right this instant. This is actually where you're going to enter the URL of your website. Once you've done that, all you need to do is click on the Next button. And this will take you to a page where it asks you to identify the feed that you want to burn. Uh, with a WordPress site, there are several feeds that are available by default but what you'll want to do is make sure that you click on the one that says feed as opposed to the one that says comments which is not the same thing you may also have another option down below for a feed for a particular page but we, what you want to make sure to look for is that you have a feed and that that feed is for your main domain name and just has slash feed at the end so once you've located the correct feed, all you need to do is click on the Next button. And before we go any further on this stage, this is the name of your feed. It's called your feed title. And this is given for you automatically based on your URL. You'll want to copy this and save it. You may be asked to provide this information when we set up your feed burner widget in your sidebar. And then once you're done, go ahead and click on the Next button. Here it's going to verify that you've signed up for your feed. Once we've done that, all we need to do is click on the Next button. And it's going to ask you for a couple of options here. We want to check these items to make sure that we are tracking click-throughs. And also check this box here to gather data for individual item views and also for the reach of our stories. These are analytics that FeedBurner provides based on how people interact with your RSS feeds and it's great information to have available to you. Once you're done with those items just click on the Next button and that finalizes your setup of your FeedBurner feed for your website. There is just one last thing that you need to do before you're done and that's up here under the Publicize tab. Click on Publicize. Once you're here on Publicize your feed, make sure that you click on the Email Subscriptions link. And once you are there, simply activate Email Subscriptions to your FeedBurner feed. This will allow people to sign up using an email address and get blog updates directly to their inbox as opposed to needing to follow your site by adding it to an RSS reader. This is a great option for people who maybe are not familiar with RSS readers or prefer to receive their information via their inbox. You can also see that once we're done with that we have a code that's provided for us that this is actually something that you would put into a text widget in WordPress to allow you to set up an email subscription widget for your site. However, we've set that up for you automatically, so at this point all you need to do is give us your feed name, which is also available at the top when you're logged into your FeedBurner account.